Hi guys, this is Elias back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. In this video, I'll show you how you can make dimension objects. So, the first thing what I want to do, I want to go to my home panel. In an annotation panel, you've got the dimension command here, and you've got the linear dimension command. If you go and click this arrow button, you've got a few commands here. Linear, aligned, angular. We'll go through step by step each of these commands. So. I want to start dimensioning, but first thing what I want to do, I want to go to my annotate panel where I get this complete dimension panel. So the first thing, let's change our dimension style. Click on this arrow button and you get this dialog box here. I've got two dimensions already there, but I want to create a new one. So I'll click a new and I'll give this name my D style. Click continue or press enter. Now I've got this dialog box. In the preview window I will see what other changes I make in this dialog box. So let's say I want to change the color of the dimensions. I can give a color red. So these lines changed to red. So if I want to keep them by length. I can even define line type, line weight and I can even hide dim line 1. If, let's see if we hide dim line 2. So that line has been hided. Down here I've got the extension lines, these are the extension lines, so I can give a color, I can change line type, I can even hide them, so I'll change that by layer. So this is extend beyond dim lines, so if I increase the value, as you can see that I've got, I'm getting the lines extending beyond the dim lines, these are the dim lines, so the lines are extending, if I want to keep that to zero, I'll give a value to zero and offset from origin so that means basically if I increase the value you see these lines are getting offset from the point you pick for your dimension so I keep that to zero as well and I'll just make this about nine inches that looks a bit better okay so now let's go to your symbol and arrow so in arrowheads, let's say we got these arrowheads there, right? I can change the design of them, like I got architectural lines, but they're not showing basically. So what I have to do is I have to keep a value a little bit, increase the value here, and go to your symbol and arrow, so I can change the arrow size basically. So as you can see that that lines are increasing. So I can define the first arrowhead and the second arrowhead. I'll change this to dot. I like that dot one. I will increase the value. And now as you can see that there are the dots on every arrowhead. So there are a few options here, but I don't want to talk about it in this video. I'll talk about this in a later video. So let's go to your text. Text is the second most important tab you need to change. So the text height, make sure it's 9 inches or it depends what kind of drawing you're working on. If you are working on mechanical drawing, the text height would be very smaller. But on architectural drawing, I keep that as 9 inch, which looks way better when you print your drawing. So I've got these color options, I've got the text style option here. I can fill color to it, but I'll go back and give it value to none. I can align with dimension line. Let's say if I go and click this radio button on horizontal, so you see that doesn't matter what angle your dimensions are, it, it will show the text will show as horizontal value. So if I want to keep that line with dimension. And now let's go to your fit. I'll leave it for the next video and let's go to primary units. Here you need to make sure that your unit format is on architectural and precision should be same on your units. Remember when you set up your drawing, you you gave a value to your precision. So that should be same. I think mine was one by eight. So I keep that one by eight. And now I click OK. So we're almost done. So I'll click on this My G style and click Set Current. And I close this. All right, guys, our dimension style has been set. As you can see that I've got this My D style here. So I can start making dimension objects now. So I'll go and select this command, dimension command. And now before I select anything, I just want to show you a few options here. You can press down arrow to get the menu. 
and you can click here as well on your command line so I got angular baseline continues so there's few there's a lot of options here so let's start making some dimensions I'll click on this point first and then I will make my second point about there so you can see I've got the dimension there so I click and I've got the dimension there let's try a circle what if I want to select a radius of this line? I can go to this arrow button and I can select a radius. But I don't have to do that in AutoCAD 16 because AutoCAD 16 has got a really advanced dimension command. So I'll just click on this dimension command. And now if I hover over my cursor to the circle, as you can see, it automatically detects that that's a circle. And it starts giving me a radius. I've got a diameter option here as well down on the command line. And I can change that to diameter. So I'll click here and then I can move wherever I want to for the second click and then there you go, I've got my radius there. Let's try this arc with dimension command. So I'll hover my cursor and I've got this arc there. You click once and then you choose where you want to keep that dimension and second click would end that command. So as you can see, even I finish my dimension, the command is still running. So let's go back up there and my command is still on. What I want to do, I want to show you this continuous option. If I click here, it's asking me to specify extension line origin. So I'll select that one and I click the second point about here, third point here. So as you can see that when I click, the dimension starts from the previous dimension finished. So with that option, I can keep dimensioning as much as I want. Okay, so one more thing, let's dimension this room, okay? I'll show you some text options. So I'll hover my cursor to this line object. So I hover my cursor, it automatically detects that line and give me the dimension. If I click here and I have to move wherever I want to keep my dimension, and now our options on the command line changed. So now I've got the option on the command line, M text, text, text angle, I can undo as well. So let's say I wanna type a text instead of this 23 dimension I want to type something else so I can type T press spacebar and now it's going to ask me to type dimension text so let's say I'll say bedroom 20 feet 20 feet and I press enter and now instead of giving me the proper dimension I overwrite my dimension text to this text whatever I write so I click here so you, you guys know the text option as well now Okay, so let's make a few more dimension here and then we will edit them. Alright, I've got a few more of few more dimension here. Let's do this angled line. I'll hover my cursor to this angle line and now I've got the dimension. Now it's very important that where you keep your cursor, if you keep your cursor on that same angle where the line is, let's say the line is on 45 degrees, right? So I keep my cursor to 45 degrees so I get the proper distance. But if I move my cursor to X axis, I get a different distance because AutoCAD is not calculating from line point one to point two. It's actually calculating from that point to that point on X axis. The same with the Y axis. If I move my cursor on the Y axis upwards, so my dimension changed as well. All right, so we're pretty much done. And now I will show you how you can edit those dimensions so I'll end the command now let's say I'll select this dimension here I'll select this dimension and now I've got two options here I've got the four kind of vertex so if I want to move my dimension I can click on this vertex and just move so I can move the text wherever I want all right so now Let's say I'll move this vertex. So as you can see, while I'm moving to my minus x axis, I've got different dimensions. So my dimension are basically decreasing. I'll leave that back to 20 feet. I'll click on this dimension and then it's the same thing as in the middle one, I can move the text. So let's have a look at the radius. Uh, I'll click this radius button. I've got a few options here. I can move my radius along my object 
and if I want to move text click on this and then I can it can move my text as well double click to my text and I've got the text options here so here I've got two text dimension text selected what I don't want to do I want to just select this one so double click on this one and I've got this text dialog box so I can even now change my text I can write whatever I want you know it changed that to multi line text so it's very handy so you can change any text you want later once you have done your dimension that's not a problem at all Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next